We're going to look at some tips and tricks for applying conditional formatting to dates. As far as I've just got a random list of dates and I'm going to select them all. So I select the first cell, control shift, down arrow key. And then if I use control backspace, it takes me back to the top of my list. So conditional formatting, I'm just going to go to my home tab and I've got a conditional formatting button here. And if I go to highlight cell rules, I can see that I have a little option here called a date occurring. So let's click on that. And you'll see there's loads of useful options in this first drop down list here. So by default it says yesterday. So what it does is selects or highlights, not selects, but highlights or formats wherever yesterday's date appears in that list. But I could also say today. And if I had today's date in there somewhere, and I do, it will highlight today's date. What about um, last week? So those are all last week's dates. So if you had a list of things to do, you might, for example, say, well, what's coming up this week? And it would highlight all the cells with dates in this week. Or you might say, well, what's coming up next week? And there we are. You've got all next week's dates formatted. OK, so lots of useful options in there. And that was just merely selecting the cells that you want to apply the conditional formatting to and then going to the conditional formatting button and going to uh, highlight cell rules, uh, date occurring. In this second example, we've got a list of invoices and the due date for the invoice. And we want to use conditional formatting to basically format any invoices that are overdue. So the first step would be to select all of the invoices. So if I select the first row, and then I'm going to use a neat little uh, shortcut key, control shift down arrow key to select down to the last record and then control backspace to go back up to the top. Now I'm going to go to the conditional formatting button on the home tab. And this time I'm going to go down to new rule. In this dialog box, the new formatting rule dialog box, I'm going to go down to this last rule type, use a formula to determine which cells to format. And the formula that I'm going to use is basically going to evaluate whether the due date is less than today's date. Whenever you create a formula to determine which cells to format, that, that formula basically may must evaluate to true or false. So that I'm going to type an equals in to begin my formula, and I'm going to say, is this due date? Now you'll notice that when I click on that cell, it makes it an absolute reference with a dollar before each part of the cell reference. This formula is being created for D4, which is the active cell, but will automatically get copied across all the other cells in my table, in my selection. Now what I'm going to need to do is fix part of this reference. I need to say that the due date, the thing that we're comparing, is always in column E, but with even different rows within column E. Obviously, we're going to evaluate each date as we go copy the formula or copy the conditional formatting down this table. So what I need to do is I need to fix the E, so retain the dollar before the E, but I need to make four relative. And I can do that by using the shortcut F4 on my keyboard. Now, if I press it once, you can see that it makes the four fix. So the dollar is before the four. That's not what I want. So I'm going to press F4 a second time, and I get a dollar before the E, which is what I want. Now, if the, your F4 key is not quite working like mine is on my keyboard, you can always just type in the dollar where it needs to appear within the cell address. So I'm going to say, is this date less than? And I'm going to use the function today. So that's today, open bracket, close bracket. And the reason I'm using that function is it, it will always return the current date within the formula. So in other words, the conditional formatting will be kept up to date. Now I'm going to choose the format for this condition. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll just darken the cell somewhat. Maybe I'll use that color there. And let's make the font bold or something like that. That's the color, let's say it's bold. That should do, and if I click on OK. 
and I click on OK again, there we are. It's very clearly shown which of those invoices are overdue. So that's conditional formatting using a formula with a date function.